and our top focus is on the national capital where the air quality continues to deteriorate with air quality index at 373 today which indicates very poor air quality uh, conditions. AQI at 13 stations in the national capital are in the severe category today. The situation has been further aggravated by a substantial increase in pollution due to post Diwali firecracker use and also stubble burning in the neighboring states. Now on November 3rd, satellites detected 351 residue burning events across six states with Punjab contributing the most at 216 events followed by Madhya Pradesh with 67 Rajasthan with 36, Haryana with 19, whereas Uttar Pradesh with 16. And my colleague Kritika is now joining us on the story with more details. Kritika, the air quality in the national capital continues to worsen with each passing day. How is the situation on the ground today? Right, in fact, yesterday, Delhi was the most polluted city in the country with a daily average AQI of 382. Now, remember, this is a huge jump from the earlier numbers. Currently, we are at the Anand Vihar uh, area where right now the AQI is the highest at 433. Now, remember, Anand Vihar on multiple occasions, the AQI here has been peaking. We have been reporting from this area as well. But this morning, it is crossing the previous records also of this season. Yesterday, nearly half of the stations in the national capital were recording a reading in the severe to nearly severe category, which means that oh, about 20 stations had readings above 390. Now, this is extremely concerning because remember how the Supreme Court also in its last hearing said, it's just not about numerics at this point of what number we are now reaching. It is a flagrant violation, in fact, of our human rights. Here at Anand Vihar, you can see the level of congestion. This is Monday morning and right now the buses, the cars, everything right now, it is jam-packed. We've been staying here for uh, over half an hour and remember, uh, for the first time, the levels in this area peaked. There was a demand from uh, the Chief Minister Atishi as well as Environment Minister Gopal Rai to have regular sprinkling of water. But because of all this traffic, we have not been able to see even a single water sprinkler be deployed in this particular intersection for the last uh, half an hour. I'd also request a camera person to give you a view of the haze that has surrounded this area. All the uh, greenery, uh, so as far as where our eyes can see, all the structures around here are all hazy. Would request him to pan towards the buildings on uh, the right hand side and show you the impact that is visible even early this morning. All the buildings here, the high rises also, in fact, they're quite hard to see. And the layer of haze that we keep reporting on day by day, it is just becoming more thick. Now, as per the early warning system of the Earth Sciences Ministry, the air quality is only going to be deteriorating as now we are seeing very, very calm winds, which means that there will be very less dispersions of pollutants in the national capital. And what is expected is that the AQI today might peak till 384. Now, this is only a beginning, sadly, because now weather conditions are going to be extremely unfavorable for the next couple of days for any respite for the citizens. All right, Kritika, thank you for getting us all those details from the ground. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is also set to address the ongoing pollution issues in Delhi following a previous hearing where the chief secretaries of Haryana and Punjab were summoned due to their inaction regarding air quality management. During the last session, the top court stressed on the need for state governments to implement effective measures to combat pollution, urging them to take immediate and tangible actions. The court also directed the Commission for Air Quality Management to ensure strict adherence to the grade, uh, graded response action plan and to report on the efficacy of the measures taken. My colleague Harish is now joining us with more details on this. Harish, what can be expected in the top court today and also tell us more about the previous hearing. Yes, in fact, uh, this uh, very crucial hearing uh, will be happening at a time when the uh, Delhi MCR air has uh, 
is closer to Sibia. Uh, and uh, as per the reports, it's uh, worsened in over nine months. And uh, it's clear that uh, the Delhi's air quality has worsened uh, significantly since uh, two days after Diwali, with uh, the AQI rising uh, from 316 to 382, the highest in nine months. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, as per reports, calm winds and low temperatures have hindered pollution dispersion. And Delhi has continued to breathe toxic air as AQI has crossed 380 at several parts of the national capital. And uh, remember the last date of hearing, the Supreme Court had slammed Haryana and Punjab for not acting against double burning. But today, it's expected that uh, the Supreme Court might uh, turn its focus on uh, how uh, 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 we have to examine whether uh, there has been a violation of the ban on crackers. Uh, it's expected that some uh, complainant, some petitioners will raise, definitely raise the issue saying that uh, the Supreme Court had very clearly banned even green crackers in Delhi NCR, uh, no, and but uh, several crackers with barium salt and barium nitrate were uh, used uh, in this Diwali, and uh, it's expected that Supreme Court might pose some very tough questions on it. Yes, and coming to your question, uh, last date, Supreme Court had slammed Haryana Punjab for not acting against double burning, and asked is action not taken against farmers due to political reasons. If strict action is not taken, uh, this, such violations will continue. And petty fines is not a deterrent. It's a license for more stubble burning. Supreme Court had very clearly said, and uh, uh, the uh, Supreme Court had directed uh, strict action against state officials for abdication of duty and asked why not a single prosecution for stubble burning. And I said that uh, the Commission of Air Quality Management uh, is, is not uh, that the particular commission of, uh, is not working to its full strength and also ask why uh, these penal provisions are not being enforced. Till they are enforced, it will merely remain on paper. So all uh, state governments uh, in the stakeholders, Delhi, Punjab, uh, Haryana, and uh, they were pulled up. And uh, today it's a very crucial hearing because today the... Uh, Pollution caused by crackers is also expected to come up. Back to you.